everyone, it's Sunny. Um, this is going to be my 60s inspired beach bunny tutorial. I have been, um, I don't know if any of you follow me on Pinterest, but I like it's like the first thing I do every morning now. I'm so addicted. And I've been collecting pictures of 60s beach looks, and most of them just happen to be Bridget Bardot. Uh, I do love, love, love her look um, and her makeup, and it just, just kind of, she has the perfect combination of casual beach girl and then um, kind of a 60s sex kitten. So it's just really quite inspiring. So I thought I'd do a um, quick tutorial on the makeup and the hair. So you can link to the hair tutorial here. Super quick, the hair. The hair is so easy, um, it almost feels dumb to make a tutorial. but. <laughs> I think um, it's kind of cute because it has like a bit of a bouffant at the back and then um, little bunches. It's just so easy to do and super carefree as well for the summer. Um, the makeup is actually um, all uh, waterproof, which is great. Uh, I'm using uh, Makeup Forever's Aqua Seal for my eye makeup and um, that will essentially make your eyeliner and your... Um, Eyeshadow. You can even put it over your eyebrows. I've actually made my eyebrows blonder now, so I'm not like you know that fussed about them. But it makes all your eye makeup um, waterproof. I am going to be doing a proper review on the product um, later on because it's um, quite a new product for me and I really like it. But yeah, um, so let's just start it with a makeup tutorial, and um, you can check out the hair tutorial as well. I hope you like it. I'm going to start off by using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I love this, just use this much. As my foundation, I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix foundation. I'm an NC25. And I'm just going to put um, a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm using my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. This is such a quick way to do a great foundation. And I even go over my eyebrows, I kind of go a little bit onto the eyelids. We are going to lighten the eyebrows slightly next, which is kind of, um, so when you're really kind of um, suntanned, your eyebrows get lighter as well. Mine are not very dark, to begin with, um, but I'm just gonna light them and lighten them a little bit more. And one thing I wanted to say about the foundation was it's really quite yellow based and that's great for kind of um, suntanned looks. So I'm gonna use um, product, I think you can only get this from Mac Pro stores. Uh, this is the Chromographic Pencil and it's in an NW25 NC30 and this is a multi-usage crayon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my brows with this. Now, it's not going to leave tons of color behind, just a little bit, but it's kind of just enough to lighten my brows a bit. But can you see like the difference between the two brows? You could use a normal concealer to do this, but just kind of brush through carefully because you want them to be a little bit lighter, not really clumpy. And I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, MAC MSF uh, in a medium with a MAC 217. I'm just gonna kind of tap it on top to set them. So I'm gonna use a product that makes all kind of eyeshadows, um, pencils, uh, crayons, things like that, uh, waterproof. And this is by Makeup Forever and it's called Aqua Seal. Now, you can use this in tons of different ways. I actually wanna do a um, proper review on this. The way I'm gonna use it now is I'm actually gonna use it as a primer. So then the eyeshadows I put on top become waterproof. So I just put a couple of drops on the back of my hand and then using a finger, I just dab it on my lid. This is really liquid, it's really kind of oil, it feels like oil. And you just wait for a little while for that to get kind of tacky for it to dry. 
a bit. And um, the color I'm going to use on top of it is going to be Mac Wedge and Mac Cork. So they're both kind of very warm, light. Well, that's a light brown and that's a medium brown. And let's see. Try it a little bit more. So taking the wedge and Sigma E55, I'm going to pat some color on my lid. It's good to have noticed that with this, it's good to kind of pat the first layer before you start sweeping. I'm going to go all the way to my eyebrow here at the inner corner. But I'm going to leave the brow bone completely bare. And then I'm going to use a little bit more of the MSF and um, the MAC 217 and I'm just going to blend the edge of that. So really keep the brow bone super there. I'm then going to add a second layer and this will just deepen it a little bit and this is cork. Yes, <laughs> it's cork. And where's my brush gone? I'm using the same Sigma brush. I'm not going to go quite as high up this time. This is such a warm brown. I love this brown. Um, when you're doing vintage makeup, it's really important, um, well, for especially for this type of era, kind of 50s, 60s, to keep the textures matte. Then when you move on to the 70s, you can use as much gloss as you like, but... You know, during that era, it was pretty much everything was matte. So the liner is what really kind of makes this a um, 60s look. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. This is Black Ebony liner. And usually I'll mix, oh, sorry, I'll mix this with water. But because I want it to be waterproof, I am going to use the Aqua Seal again. Now, um... I am just going to put it at the back of my hand. People kind of use different types of mixing trays and stuff, but that's perfectly fine for me. So I just dip my brush onto that. I pick up a little bit of the color. And first I'm just going to create a really kind of standard line. So then we're going to wing it out and looking straight into the mirror, so I'm looking a little bit down, not actually at you so I can see myself, uh, I am just going to draw the line where I want the wing to go. And I want it to go, well, further than I normally would with a liner because it is a kind of a winged out look. And then you start, you've got that line there, and then you just pull it back and you start filling it in. So the line is quite thick here in the outer corner. I'm going to use MAC Teddy on my waterline. I prefer a brown to a black for the waterline for this look. Then I'm going to use Clinique's lower lash mascara on my lower lashes. If um, I've got like lash extensions on so I'm not going to put any mascara on top. Um, if I didn't have them I would probably put um, a strip lash like fake lashes on as well. And then I'm going to use just a touch more cork and the Sigma pencil brush. And I'm going to trace that on my lower lash line. So back to the full face. I'm going to use my Creftovian um, HD Foundations palette. Well, this is kind of foundations and concealers. And this is in a warm. And it has, I'll try and hide this huge mirror, tons of different shades. Now, um... What I'm about to do may seem a little bit weird, <laughs> but trust me on this one. 
So I'm just going to take a MAC foundation brush and I'm going to take one of the darker shades. I think I'm going to use uh, one of these and I am actually going to put some, where I would usually actually put a highlight on my nose, just here. And I'm going to just blend it out. We're essentially kind of mimicking where the sun hits. Now, another thing this weirdly enough does, it kind of makes the tip of your nose where there's no uh, none of the color, makes it look like it's standing up more. And I'm also going to put it just at the tops of my cheeks. Yes, it does seem a really weird place initially to put a dark color. But this is kind of where the sun hits you, so that's why we're doing it. And I'm just going to take the same kind of, the Sigma Kabuki brush and blend that out. And then I'm going to add a little bit here on my temples. And the tiniest, tiniest bit on my chin. We will use bronzer as well. You could just buy, um, you don't need to buy a, a big Craftobium palette. You could just buy a concealer that's way too dark for you and that would work as well. Actually, I'm also going to do my under eye concealing with this. I'm just going to take the lightest shade from this palette. And I'm not going to go very low because, I mean, we want this part already to be bronzed. So I am just going to literally do just under my eyes. And I'm using the MAC 224. I'm then going to take an NYX cream blush in 05 Glow and a um, MAC 187 and I'm just going to very very lightly dab it and this is again like really high up on the cheek and towards the center of the face and also on kind of like the bridge of the nose. I'm powdering using my MAC Prep and Prime and I'm going to powder just using a little, um, I think this is Eve Pearl tiny little powder puff and um, I'm really going to press the powder into the skin because you need the look to be kind of ultra matte. It's not like a beach look, like a glowy beach look from today. It's definitely a matte 60s style beach look. Then we're going to use some bronzer. I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin uh, in Sunny. Great, I love the name. And I'm also using my Sigma Angle brush. And I'm going to brush the bronzer where the sun would naturally hit. So now we're not doing kind of like the contouring where you go under the cheekbones. We're doing kind of high parts of the face. So go all over your forehead. Really do your cheeks well and a little bit on the chin too I will do a little bit under you're allowed to contour under of course for the lips I'm going to use a, a Ben Nye lip pencil in the colour mahogany and I'm going to take inspiration from Bridget Bardot's lips I don't have her lips but I can use the same techniques that she used so she used to kind of use a brownish pencil to line and she was often seen in a peachy lipstick and one thing that she did she um, always lined her upper lip outside of the natural lip line as well and then she didn't accentuate the cupid's bow she kind of connected it So I'm just going kind of straight across the cupid's bow. And I'm using a new Bobbi Brown product for me. This is Bobbi Brown Peach Sorbet and it's translucent lip shine. And it's just a really pretty peachy colour. Now 
Now I'm going to do one more step. You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I absolutely adore um, kind of uh, photos uh, from the 60s, especially of Bridget Bardot with little freckles on her nose. Um, so I'm going to make some. Uh, I'm using the MAC Lingering Pencil and I am just going to kind of fake a few freckles. I wonder how well you can see them on camera because I don't want them to be like pipelon stocking, like freckles, freckles. They're just a little tiny bit, very light freckles. 